Hey guys, Dave the Watchman here, coming at you with another video. <clears throat> I got my trusty buddy Schrody here, still in the spotlight again. Um, I set up to do the video and he just came over and insisted that he wanted to be part of it. I guess he must like these watches that I'm going to review today. Um, so once again, if you like my videos and you want, to, want me to keep them coming, uh, just be sure to hit that uh, thumbs up, that like and subscribe. And basically what I'm going to be going over today is I'm going to be going over a couple of watches that I really uh, that I really like that are pretty similar to it looks like um, it looks like a cross between a, a Rolex Daytona styling and a Rolex Yachtmaster styling. Um, but these are two um, different watches. They're budget friendly watches. They're obviously not Rolex. Um, but very nice watches for the price. And um, one of these watches, you won't believe what I paid for it. Um, but I'll let you know at the end. Um, but I just wanted to go over these watches today. Uh, really uh, like them. Um, they're very classy looking watches. And uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. The first one is going to be this watch right here, which pretty closely resembles a Rolex Yachtmaster. Uh, once again, I'm not a jeweler. I'm just a guy who likes my watches and I don't like to spend a lot of money on them. Um, but this is, uh, from what I've seen, pretty close to the stylings of a Rolex gold champagne gold Yachtmaster. Uh, the only thing that, that it's not uh, entirely uh, along that style is the, the face with the sub dials that's more along the lines of a Rolex Daytona So it's kind of like to me a cross between the two uh, a Rolex Yachtmaster and a Daytona, but it it does have the the rotating um, dive uh, diver sub dial or uh, bezel and um, It's a it's a nice tight bezel. It's got a little bit of play if you know if you go backwards It's a little bit of play on it but otherwise, it's a nice tight sub uh, bezel. Uh, the bracelet's nice and tight. It's got a gold. Um, it's it's obviously not real gold, but it's got a gold uh, coating on it. It's probably brass or um, a stainless coated uh, coated brass. Uh, I don't know what they would make it out of. Not really sure. But I do know the uh, the back is stainless steel. It says stainless steel on it. Um, and it's got the, uh, it's, it's a quartz movement, obviously, um, not a really expensive, it's, it's, a not an automatic, uh, but it is a nice watch. I've had this watch probably for about three months now, and I, maybe even four months at this point, really, really nice watch. I love it, love it a lot. It introduced me to the Olevs brand, which I, obviously, if you've seen my other videos, you know, I'm really fond of the Olevs brand. I've got quite a few Olevs watches. Um, but this watch is, this was the one that introduced me to, to the product line. And, um, as you can see, it's got the working sub dials, uh, nothing's painted on that doesn't work. Everything works as it should. Um, the, um, the case is very solid. It's a very, you know, solid, heavy watch. It's not light. Um, sorry about the fingerprints, but this camera shows up everything. Um, the There's really not much bad I can say about this watch. I really like it. And um, this is also another watch that's very, very similar. Um, it's once again, it's got the Yachtmaster look with the Daytona face on it. These are very, very similar watches. They're a different manufacturer, but they're very similar. Um, they, they do follow a lot of the Submariner look. Also, the Yachtmaster, um, the Submariner watch has the, um, the different face, which has the, the, uh, design on the, on the hour hand and also the circle on the, on the minute hand. Um, these don't have that. These are more along the lines of the Daytona styling, um. They're all homage watches. They're not Rolex watches. They're just homages. Um, but very good prices on these watches. And I'll post a link. I'll post a link to this one in the description. Um, and I don't think I have a link for this one in the, uh, that I can add to the description. But basically, this is a great, a great watch. 
uh, much better quality than this watch, but this one's pretty good um, for the price. And like I said, you're not going to believe what I paid for this watch. Um, I'll let you guys know what the actual price point was on this watch at the end of the video. Unless you've already watched one of my other videos, then, then you already know. You already know what I paid for it. But this one right here, I think you can pick this one up for somewhere in the neighborhood of $45 or $40 on Amazon right now. And if you click on that affiliate link below, that actually helps me out. It sends me a couple of dollars if you, if you purchase it through the affiliate link. So head on over to Amazon and pick that up using that affiliate link. And that would help out a lot. Uh, but otherwise, really good watch. It fits well. Um, it comes with a free adjusting tool. Uh, with when you buy the watch uh, so you don't have to take it in and get it sized you can you can actually size it yourself it's a it's a very let's see here if I've got one available to show you but basically it comes in a box like this um, and it comes all wrapped up and protected and it also comes with a tool so that you can adjust the link on it and um, you know you know size it right for your arm and uh, some of these are you know, some of these tools are plastic and some are metal, um, but I do go over that in one of my other videos. This is what the metal one would look like here. Um, so you, you might get the metal one, you might get the plastic one. The Olaf's watches always come with one or the other, but they both work. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, and you don't have to bring it in and get it sized by a jeweler or anything crazy. Um, but this one right here, I actually purchased this one. I got this one off of Amazon, and I got this one off of Sheen.com, and um, I wasn't sure what I was going to get when I bought it, but I was actually pretty impressed by it, especially for the price. Um, like I said, guys, I didn't spend a lot of money on this watch. This one right here was around 40 and this one right here, I think I paid $9 for it on Sheen, but... There are some differences in the quality, and if you look at my other video, I actually show you the, the an in-depth review on this watch right here, and um, I show you the basically, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly about it, but all in all, for the price, you can't beat it. I mean, it's pretty similar in comparison to the Olev's watch. Um but it is a lot sloppier. It doesn't have as good of a build quality to it. It is heavy, um, but you can tell the link, the, you know, the links in the in the band aren't as good. Um, but it is a beautiful looking watch, especially for the money. Um, I'm not sure what the long term is going to be on it, but for now it works. It keeps, you know, keeps good time and it is an eye catcher. I mean, I've had people actually look at this watch when I wear it and go, Ooh, well, it's a nice watch. So you get a couple of compliments on a $9 watch. It's not too bad. Um, and this one also has, you know, the, the, uh, the sub dials that work. So nothing's painted on. So everything works as it should. And, um, you know, it's, it's a nice watch. It's got the date also on it. I don't know if you noticed that in the, in the corner there, I gotta set that date because today is the 11th and not the 5th, but there we go. I mean, it's a beautiful looking watch. So these are what I have here, uh, basically Yachtmaster, cross between a Yachtmaster and a Daytona. Um, if you're looking at Rolex watches, I don't own any Rolex watches. I'm not a jeweler. I'm not saying these are Rolex or, or good, even close, but you know, for the price, you don't have to worry about them when you wear them. You know, you can wear these, you know, camping. You can wear them working, you know, working out in the yard. You don't have to worry about it if you scratch them or you damage them. If something happens to it, you spend another 10 bucks, you buy another one. This one right here, it's a $40 watch. It's a beautiful watch. I've gotten a lot, a lot of compliments on this over the past few months. And um, people don't know the difference. A lot of people don't know the difference when they see it. Um... But that's what I do. I review watches. I, I'm mainly in the um, budget luxury area of watches, um, sports watches, luxury watches, uh, homage watches. 
Uh, if you want to see a different watch reviewed, let me know. If you have any questions on something that you might want to buy on Sheen or on Amazon, let me know. I will more than likely buy the watch just to do a review on it. So let me know if you have any questions about anything or you want me to review something. Or if you have any information on, you know, if this is supposed to be an homage to a different watch or what you think it looks like or this one as well. Just let me know in the description or in the uh, comments below. And uh, thank you to all the subscribers I've gotten so far and all the likes. And uh, just looking to build this channel up and, uh, you know, fill it up with more watches. So until next time, Schrody is hard at work and I'll be buying more watches and doing more reviews. So you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next watch video.